Hi guys, when is securing vast farmland, monitoring a construction site, or ensuring the safety of a remote facility, the key lies in deploying a robust and scalable IP camera system. And today, we receive a case from one of our customers. Let's see what happened to him. Our customer has an NVR system in his farm. However, he needs to extend it to a barn and to a pavilion in another location. The pavilion is 200 meters from the NVR and the barn is 500 meters away from the NVR. He already buried one Cat6 Ethernet cable to each place. And now, he's planning to connect three cameras at the barn and three cameras at the pavilion to build a civilian system. So how can he achieve this system without complex cabling? And that's what we're going to find out in this video. And you can experience the benefits of free design consultation for your technology system effortlessly. Just share your questions through the link down in the description box below, and our team of experts will deliver valuable and tailored recommendations aligned with your unique requirements. So PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. It allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable and eliminating the need for a separate power source. It simplifies the installation of network devices, such as IP camera and wireless access point, etc. But one of the key considerations with PoE is its transmission distance limitation. The maximum distance is about 100 meters. As the cable length increases, the electrical resistance of the cable can cause a drop in voltage, leading to potential power delivery issue. That a signal can degrade, resulting in reduced network performance. So to extend the PoE reach beyond the standard distance limitation, PoE Extender tool can be used. So now we're in front of the demonstration board. As you can see, we already built a civilian system that suits for our customer scenario. And what we're using today is the long-range PoE switch. Now it is designed to extend PoE capabilities to greater distance, making it ideal for large-scale deployment and remote location. In comparison to common PoE switches, which typically can support power and data transmission over the distance up to 100 meters, long-range PoE switch can extend this range significantly. And it utilizes various technology to overcome the limitation of distance, ensuring sufficient power is delivered to PoE power devices, and that data transmission remains reliable over extended cable lengths. And this is what we're using today, Four port long range PoE switch. Now you can support data transmission of up to 500 meters between two of them. So you can see one here and the other one by the camera. Now also, it provides continuous run without active electronic. It has maximum of 30 watts of output power per port and has total 60 watts total power budget. And it's easy to use and maintenance but keep in mind, only port number one and two can deliver distance up to 500 meters. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So let's pretend this is where our customer's NVR is. And I'm going to connect the router with the NVR first. And the monitor is already connected to the NVR so we can monitor the IP cameras. Next, I'm going to use another short patch cord to connect the router to our four port long range PoE switch to provide data. Remember, only port number one and two can support up to 500 meters distance connection. So we're using port number one for now. Let's pretend we are connecting to the pavilion. So now our customer can use port number two for his barn. And this is a 500 meters Ethernet cable since we don't have a big roll. So I'm connecting two together using this coupler to join those Ethernet cable to become 500 meters. 
Okay, now they are joined together. So let's move to the edge. For example, if this is the pavilion, pavilion, we have three cameras ready. And we are going to use port number one here for the long distance transmission. And then it will leave us three ports available, exactly what our customers need, because he wants to connect to three cameras at each place. So I'm going to just plug in three short patch cord. Just like this and connect to three IP cameras. It's pretty simple, right? So now our customers can have total six IP cameras at two different places. So three of them are connected already and receiving power and data at the same time. Let's give it a little bit of time. So now they're all on. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. This is the first one, the second one, and the third one. So using long range PoE switch can provide clean setup, reliable connection, and offer convenient installation and high flexibility. But there are some more consideration that you should keep in mind too. First, power requirement. PoE has different standard, IEEE 802.3 AF, AT, and BT standard. Make sure your switch is compatible with the PoE standard and output power for your PoE devices. Second, always choose a pure copper cable like the Cat5e or Cat6 for your PoE setup because pure copper has superior conductivity compared to other materials, so it can provide reliable data transmission and less power loss. Last but not least, surge protection. A long-range transmission means a higher risk of surge damage. If you don't want to damage your devices through surge or lightning, make sure you add a surge protector for your whole setup. And thank you very much for watching us. If you want to know more, here's a video on how to build a surge protection for PoE network system.